Along with Ioannis Ifontis and Yukiko Yamashita, I'm organizing a Keystone meeting in February of 2013 in Banff on stem cell regulation in homeostasis and disease. We're excited about it because the great thing about Keystone meetings is the opportunity to focus on important emerging areas of research. And one of the really exciting things in stem cell biology is that people are now starting to discover new regulatory mechanisms that people hadn't thought of in the past. So we decided to organize the whole meeting around novel forms of regulation and different aspects of um, regulatory mechanisms uh, that regulate the ability of stem cells to do the amazing things that they do, as well as uh, how stem cells can sometimes go wrong in the context of disease. So between the spectacular location and a great lineup of leading speakers and from many different areas, some you know, leaders in the area of stem cell biology and some who are leaders in the areas of other parts of cell biology that, um, that are now starting to uh, clearly relate to our understanding of stem cells, we're hopefully, hoping it'll appeal to a broad constituency. We're really trying to focus on many different kinds of regulatory mechanisms from transcriptional mechanisms to epigenetic mechanisms to RNA regulation to, you know, proteostasis. Some of those um, encompass areas of cell biology that are very much emerging. So um, we'll also have representation from all different kinds of stem cell systems. Um, all different tissues, different species, embryonic stem cells and other kinds of pluripotent stem cells as well as uh, tissue specific stem cells. So we're hoping that this is a meeting that will cover the important aspects of the field. I've been coming to Keystone meetings for 20 years now and I get invitations to go to way more meetings than I can attend but I never turn down an opportunity to go to a Keystone meeting. And that's remarkable because I probably go to two or three Keystone meetings a year in different areas of stem cell biology, cancer, and aging. I always go because it's always a high quality scientific meeting. There's always a chance at Keystone meetings that there's going to be the sense that history is going to be made with some important talks that really blow the lid off some new area of biology. Mm -hmm. um, the quality of the interactions with, with the colleagues and the scientific exchanges are really outstanding given that you have a relatively small group of people focused on a particular area of biology. It's different from the really large society meetings where there may be thousands of people there and where it's more about society business or um, social interactions than it is really about a particular area of science.